everybody, my name is Brooke Jackson. I am the Youth Services Coordinator at Livingston Parish Library Main Branch. Um, for today's craft video, I'm going to show you how to paint some flowers like this with an object that you can find at home. The object that you can easily find at home is a toilet paper roll. Um, you can use the toilet paper roll or you can use a paper towel roll and you can cut it shorter. Um, but using this to paint flowers is super easy and it's a great craft for all the younger children to try. Or even the older children if they want to try. So to get started, uh, let me show you what supplies we're going to need. Obviously you're going to need the toilet paper roll. We're going to need some scissors with adult supervision. We're going to need some small plates or bowls, something to pour our paint into. You're going to need some paint brushes or paint sponges. And then you're just going to need some paints. I'm going to do uh, pink flowers with yellow middles. And then I also have a green marker to do the stem and the grass and the leaves if I want to. Um, lastly, you're going to need some fresh paper. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our toilet paper roll and our scissors and you're just going to cut some grooves, not all the way down. You want to cut maybe like halfway. So about there. Like that. And if you want, you can draw some lines to kind of show the kids where to cut like so and they can just cut along the lines all the way around the toilet paper roll until the entire thing has been cut okay now that the entire thing has been cut I want you to take those uh, edges and kind of bend them backwards to open it up a little bit because we're going to be pressing it onto the paper so we want it to be able to go like that alright so now we've got our toilet paper roll cut our next step is to pour out some paint so I'm just going to shake up my paint a little bit And then you don't, you really don't need that much paint, so I'm just going to pour a tiny bit. That's good. Like the way all this dry paint. Okay, so we're going to take our painting sponges, and you're going to want to dip that into your paint, and then just paint it onto the inside of the toilet paper roll. Make sure the whole thing is coated. Sometimes it's easier to set it down. Now make sure, you're going to want to make sure that you have a tablecloth or a trash bag or some newspaper laid down because this can get kind of messy. So just cook the entire thing like so. Okay, and this is the fun part. You're going to flip it over onto the page and then just press it down. And then you can take your hand and just press down on all of the little things. To make sure that the paint gets on the paper. Once it's all pressed down, 
gently lift it up and you've got your flower. So the next thing that you're going to want to do is wipe off your hands if you have any excess paint on them. You don't want to get paint everywhere. And then I'm going to take my yellow paint, gonna give it a good shake. I'm going to take another plate, just pour a tiny bit of yellow paint on there. If it'll ever come out, that's perfect. And then I'm just going to paint the middle of my flower. Just going to dab it in there. Mix it with the pink a little bit. Make it nice and toned. So then we're going to go in there and I think we need to add a second flower right over here. So let's repeat the process <coughs> with the pink paint. Paint it all up. And then just press it down. And you've got your second flower. Oops. It's just a great way for your kids to get creative and play around with some paints. Okay, and then your next step, you can take some green paint and you can paint on the stems or you can just do like me and take a marker. I'm just going to draw some stems and maybe draw a leaf or two. And then, as always, make sure you sign your artwork at the bottom. And there you have it. You've got some flowers painted with toilet paper rolls. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, we have craft videos every Tuesday. And make sure you check out our website, uh, mylpl.info. We have tons of cool resources and... Um, a lot of information for you um, and if you don't have a library card feel free to come to any one of our branches and apply to one for free see you next week